in a new ordered world, the first thing we need to set in order is simple words that we hear every day, that we read all the time, that we believe or don't believe in. Specifically, this word. In America, this word is kind of like uh, the fundamental glue that holds, held rules. <laughs> it held and I believe it still holds. Now, let's try to look at this word in a different perspective. So, if we are going to order the world now, in America, our currency says, in we trust. Now, if we're gonna say God is love, that would make sense. at the people in our society today, it's very hard to argue that there seems to be any of this going on based on the actions, based on the behaviors, based on the words people are using. So I don't know. That has affected how we Trust. Because what is trust? Here's the definition of trust. Firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. So, how do we make this fit with our current motto, our declaration? It's pretty simple, if you ask me. Watch. So, if we pledge our allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Indivisible. <laughs> Undividable. Yet, our country is split into Republicans, Democrats, liberals, conservatives. It's nobody's fault. It was inevitable that this would happen. Our forefathers knew that. That is why I know we find these truths to be self-evident. Self-evident. You know, it's, 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 it's self-evident. You just know it through yourself. All men are created equal. Now, does that mean all women aren't created equal? If you ask me, yes, all women are not created equal. Every woman is unique. Um, and I mean, in my personal comparison of men and women, men are pretty much the same and every woman is in one way, <laughs> you know, women are from Venus, men are from Mars. If it was in God we trust, how about we back up and say, a God we trust is, Love isn't so easy to trust. I'll be the first to admit that. So, let's keep this on the back.
What is a God we'd love to trust? I trust, you trust, we trust. from scripture, but how does it now if we're gonna talk about the scripture God, okay. The only lesson in that book is to teach you God is love. God is the creator. <laughs> Our mother, our father, they are the creators. So, if you are somebody who believes in God and prays to the Heavenly Father while your father and mother are sitting right in front of you, you are not getting it. That book that so many people hold on to, it is an amazing book beyond its purposes of faith and whatever. That book is the original Ancestry.com for essentially one ruling family lineage that ruled humanity in all of human history until you get to the end. So what am I talking about? Great question. One, two, three, four, five. There's five gods. I put my trust in.